Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the mental health problems. This is an issue that is often uh, being neglected by both developed and developing countries, although there has been an increasing burden over the years. And you can see the Asian populations have the lowest uh, health services utilization, even though they have mental illnesses in the past year in the US as compared to other ethnic group with the whites uh, or, or um, uh, two other racial groups. What, what's, what's the unique uh, barriers or problems that has been faced by the Asian Americans um, in terms of um, the issues? Also, some of the work has been looking into the Asian traditional values on the family as a unit, uh, with its, each individual having a specific role and positions. And therefore, if someone is seeking help, uh, there may be more stigma as the individual health-seeking behavior might impact the whole family unit or the community unit, which can cause shame um, uh, um, of the whole family or, or the collective, uh, you know, the, the collective community. So uh, that brings back to um, why I would advocate for integrating mental health into primary care, because the primary care physicians um, know the patients very well over time, uh, and, and the accessibility is much higher with less stigmatizing uh, when people seek uh, mental health services in the primary care settings. They also may be more affordable and cost effective um, and the physicians with a generalist approach can also look at the issues more holistically um, without being perceived um, as um, just addressing the issues um, um, uh, as a treatment model. 